Hi, I'm Eric Bjornstad, the Technical Information Director here at Bell Performance, and today we're going to talk about the Bell Performance uh, Additive Dispensing Cap. This is a new accessory that we have made available on the Bell Performance website. Uh, you can order it at the website currently uh, on its own or with a, uh, another product for $9.99, and the purpose of these caps is to make it uh, very convenient and easy to dispense the products and to measure the amount that you're dispensing. Uh, this is actually a very well engineered piece of hardware. It has several parts here. The first part that it has is it consists of a reservoir here uh, which has gradations on it that currently are marked in milliliters but we will uh, in the very near future be having ones that are gradated in ounces. Uh, the full capacity of this reservoir is uh, 20 milliliters, but it has 5, 10, 15, 20. And the standard rule of thumb is that 30 milliliters equals 1 ounce. So, uh, if you fill the reservoir up to 15 milliliters, that is one half of an ounce. So, if you want to dispense 1 ounce, say you're treating uh, 10 gallons of fuel and you're using the Mixago concentrate, you would fill it twice up to the 15 milliliter mark and dispense it each time and then you've dispensed one ounce of product. So you have a reservoir, it has a filling mechanism here uh, inside as you can see. Uh, there is a cap here which comes off and when you take the cap off you'll see that there is a pour spout and this pour spout actually will go up and down and when you press down on the pour spout it actually seals the filling mechanism but it doesn't seal the reservoir. So after you have filled up your reservoir with the amount of additive that you want, you then take this and you uh, press it into, let's say, the neck of your gas tank where that little flap is. It pushes against the flap um, and uh, the flap opens, but at the same time it pushes this in and then all of the additive here flows out while at the same time the uh, uh, cap is sealed so that none of the additive in the bottle comes out. So it's a, a pretty well engineered little uh, uh, piece of uh, additive engineering here. Um, this cap, um, to put it back on, you press down, you uh, screw it on, and you can feel that as it is uh, screwing down on the cap, it's pushing this in so that uh, this is sealed when the cap is on the bottle so that you don't have any possibility of leakage. Third main part that you can see here is uh, this uh, uh, dispensing tube. And when you receive this cap in its packaging, this is actually not going to be attached. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, take this uh, tube and you're going to want to take whatever bottle that you're using it with because it can be used with multiple size bottles uh, for Bell Performance, whether it's an 8 ounce or a 16 ounce or a 32 ounce as I've got here, um, what you can actually do is you can actually trim the length of this uh, so that it uh, is the right length for the bottle that you're using. In, in this case, this has already been pre-trimmed for this bottle and so as you can see, uh, the bottom of the tube actually extends all the way down to the bottom here which means you're going to be able to get all the product out of this bottle because the tube is of the right length. So, this tube, you trim it to the right length, you put it, uh, insert it into the uh, uh, bottom of the uh, reservoir here, um, and then when you're using the cap, you squeeze the bottle, the additive flows up into the tube and up into the reservoir, and that is basically how this dispensing cap works. It has a sleeve here, which has a... Uh, 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 things here that will grip the uh, threads on the bottle and again it is engineered, it's really engineered to fit uh, any uh, uh, standard soda size bottle. Uh, specific for Bell Performance products it is uh, sized to fit the 8 ounce, the 16 or the 32 ounce bottles. Uh, we don't currently have one yet for the 1 gallon size. So how do you use the dispensing cap? Well you um, take your cap off whatever bottle that you're going to be using it with. Then you put it into the bottle as such. And then you tighten the threads here. 
make sure that it is flush with the bottle um, like this you want to make sure that this is uh, not uh, off kilter but you want to make sure that it is level so that it's properly engaging the threads and you tighten it um, all the way down uh, at some point you'll feel that you've got it uh, all the way tightened uh, and then you can stop you don't need to over tighten it so using this uh, dispensing cap is uh, very easy uh, when you're ready to dispense your product you take the lid off here um, and then all you're going to do is you're going to squeeze the bottle um, and then watch as the reservoir fills up with the contents of whatever bottle you've got it on so you squeeze the bottle and as you can see it's filling up with additive now I stopped here when it was up to this line this is where the 20 milliliter mark is and that uh, if you remember your conversion is two-thirds of an ounce so you then when you're ready to dispense this you would take this and you would insert it into the neck of your gas uh, uh, tank um, and you would pour the additive out in this case I don't have a car with me right here so I'm just gonna pour this into a cup and as you can see it flows out nicely now as you can see also um, it's not uh, coming out of the bottle either so uh, when you're dispensing it uh, and you're not squeezing on the bottle the unit is actually sealed so that you're not going to get any leakage so then this was two-thirds of the amount so let's say I have an SUV and I'm treating 20 gallons of fuel uh, I'm gonna actually do this two times so I would squeeze it again and it fills up to here and we have another two-thirds of an ounce so then I would pour this into my cup uh, so that's actually one and one-thirds ounce so if I really wanted two ounces I would fill it up a third time and dispense a third time and now I've dispensed uh, two ounces of fuel I've treated two, uh, uh, 20 gallons of fuel whether gasoline or diesel then since I'm done with it I would take the cap I would put it back on screw it down until it's uh, good and tight put it away now a couple of helpful guidelines that you're going to want to follow first of all uh, you do want to store this upright um, like we said it's engineered not to leak but you don't want to tempt fate uh, you don't want to store it upside down you don't want to store it on its side for a couple of weeks just make sure you know put it on a shelf or wherever you're storing it you store it upright um, of course with this lid on uh, the second thing is that uh, uh, as I said you can use the cap with multiple size bottles now um, you can actually take the cap off and switch it in between uh, different bottles if you would want to do that kind of thing. Uh, we don't. We recommend for best practices that you stick with it on one kind of bottle until you finish the bottle, and then you 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 know you you keep that uniform. But given that you can switch it between bottles, you just want to be mindful of if they're chemical bottles. Uh, the types of chemicals that you're switching them in between because certain kinds of chemicals are incompatible with each other and we can't warrant uh, it to cover you know everything every possibility that the consumer might seek to use it in so just be mindful to uh, if you're going to switch between different kinds of products just make sure that you're switching between the same uh, type of product to eliminate any chance of you know incompatible chemicals so to speak so anyway this has been a little instruction video on how to use the Bell Performance dispensing cap available for $9.99 currently on the Bell Performance website um, if you have any questions about how to use it uh, by all means give Bell Performance a call or send us an email uh, we would love to hear from you and uh, um, I think that's about it so anyway uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, again, I'm Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.